From a young age, Michael Morbius lives with a rare blood disease in Greece. During an excursion with his childhood friend Emil Nikos, Michael falls and gets seriously injured, which pushes Emil to promise to not let anything like that ever happen again. In their later years, the duo go off to college, where they both study science so they can figure out a cure for Morbius' condition. Their research into using vampire bat blood to make a cure earned them the Nobel Prize. Performing the next leg of his research out on the ocean for security's sake, Michael feels that death is imminent and rushes an experiment to create himself new blood cells. The procedure turns Morbius into a living vampire. He strikes out at Nikos, kills him, not wanting his fiancée Martine Bancroft to experience the same fate. He dives into the water and swims until a fishing vessel traveling towards New York City picks him up. Don't forget, if you're feeling like being an extra amazing human being, you can like, share, comment, or subscribe. And reserved for only the most incredible of super friends, you can of course support future Spotlight videos with caffeinated energy by clicking on the Buy Me A Coffee link in the description below. Alright, now let's talk about Morbius' power levels and compare him to other comic book characters. In his vampiric state, Morbius' face changes to look more bat-like. His bones also become partially hollow, which allow him to ride wind currents. His new form also gives him heightened senses, as well as increased stamina, speed, strength, and durability. Unfortunately, all these wondrous abilities come about because he needs to feed on the blood of the living. While he possesses many traditional vampire strengths, self-regeneration, minor hypnotic powers, gliding on air, he does not have their same weaknesses towards the sun, garlic, and religious artifacts. He can regenerate injured tissue, but he is not invulnerable. If he hasn't consumed sufficient blood, Morbius' body has difficulty repairing itself. For durability, Morbius rates as bulletproof, scoring a 5 out of 7. Like true vampires, Morbius possesses an accelerated healing factor that enables him to rapidly regenerate damaged bodily tissues much faster and more extensively than a normal human. Though highly developed, Morbius' healing powers aren't sufficient to regenerate missing limbs or organs. Morbius' durability is comparable to characters like Carnage, Emma Frost, and Kang the Conqueror. For energy projection, Morbius scores a 3 out of 7 for having a single energy type at short range. Okay, so this actually kind of confused me because I'm not very familiar with Morbius displaying energy powers, but he does have psionic abilities and echolocation, so maybe they're referring to these traits. So at a 3 out of 7, Morbius is on even footing with Mantis, Norbin Osborn, and Eros. Morbius' enhanced musculature produces less fatigue toxins during physical activity than the musculature of a normal human. His agility, reflexes, balance, and bodily coordination are enhanced to levels that are much beyond the natural physical limits of the finest human athlete. This combination of physical attributes puts his fighting skills on par with Iron Man, Doctor Doom, and Nova. Michael Morbius is a smart cookie. I mean, the guy has already won a Nobel Prize after all, so he's scoring a 4 out of 7, placing him as a gifted individual. His intelligence was already something he had well before becoming a living vampire, and with his gathered experience in science and the occult since, this does make him a force to be reckoned with, putting him in the same gifted league as Peter Quill, Doctor Strange, and Kitty Pride. Morbius can run and move at speeds that are beyond the natural physical limits of the finest human athlete. Also, through mental concentration, Morbius is able to glide through the air over short distances using his psionic flight abilities. Morbius is in the same speed rankings as Wonder Man, Ajax, and Sprite. Morbius possesses superhuman strength, the extent of which depends on the amount of blood he's ingested and the type of blood. At his peak, Morbius possesses sufficient superhuman strength to lift approximately 1,500 pounds, but being rated at superhuman strength levels, this would put him lifting anywhere from 800 pounds to 25 tons, so his strength can be compared to that of Venom, Cersei, or Wolverine. I'm a pretty big fan of vampires and supernatural characters, so Morbius is definitely one of my 90s classic favorites. If you're looking for more Morbius, I recommend checking out stories from The Midnight Suns, Morbius Bond of Blood, and Marvel Team-Ups. Well, that's it for our spotlight. I'm done with Morbius. I'm done for the day. I'm Shell. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.